song, but you know who they are. The Looney Spoons lady will uh, be here to teach us why good food and good health can also include good fun. Yeah, no kidding. Lots of fun when you go bowling, Jill. I know my hockey team, we just had a team building party by pin bowling, and that's where you are this morning. Exactly, at the Chinook Bowlodrome here with some of the best youth in the city. There's a big championship taking place this weekend. I'm going to throw the best ball of the morning. Well, let's hope so. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, and it's in the gutter. How did I do, you guys? What do you think? They bowl and they cheer. We love it. We're live on location here. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. We'll be right back. Gutter ball. The City TV program. At the Chinook Bola Drum getting ready for the Calgary Five Pin Bowlers Association Youth Challenge, Jill. And now, I, growing up, I always played with the, the small balls. Yes. Um, Ta-da. That, that's what you're doing now. So this is five pin? This is five pin, and this is what we're learning this morning. Uh, I picked one that matched my lipstick. Oh, really? Perfect. I'm trying to be as stylish as possible, Tara, because I have to make up for the shoes. I've got some Velcro going on, and I'm feeling a little bit nerdy. I actually think they're kind of cute. Yeah? Yeah. They also glow in the dark. Oh, why? <laughs> Just in case we turn the lights off and go crazy in here. Oh. We might do that a little bit later on this morning. But you know what? It is a very fun group here, and we have some of the best youth in the city who will be competing this weekend. And joining me, I have Jessica, who's the president. So tell me a little bit about uh, what's taking place uh, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, this weekend is the Calgary Youth Challenge Zone Championships, where all of the best youth bowlers in the city come out to try to qualify to make a team that goes to provincials, where they compete against all of the rest of the best youth bowlers in the province, and with the hope of advancing to nationals. And how competitive is this? It's pretty intense, right? It's really intense. For some of these kids, it's one of the most serious parts of the year, and they practice really hard for it. Um, and it's a big accomplishment to win and to qualify. Yeah, everybody here loves bowling. What do you love so much about bowling? I love all of the different experiences it gives you. It's um, a chance to make friends. It's a great way to stay fit. Yeah. Uh, it's just, and it's fun to be competitive and to know that you can have control over what happens when you let go of the ball. Here we're seeing Anne-Marie. Yes, <laughs> and a fist pump. Very well done. And uh, how competitive is Anne-Marie? She's the reigning champ, right? Anne-Marie is an awesome bowler. She's uh, actually the two-time reigning champion, wow. which is a really big deal. That doesn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. um, she'll be competing this year as an adult, and she's our uh, team manager. So she's okay. quite passionate about this event. No kidding. And what does it take to master the sport? How long do you have to practice? How much time do you need to put in? A lot of hours. Um, most bowlers, they start when they're really young. Um, some start as young as three. And they bowl competitively um, from like three onwards. So a lot of hours, a lot of hard work. Bowling is definitely a sport where practice makes perfect. And that was pretty much perfect right there. That's what we call a strike, right? That's right. We had a strike, our first strike of the morning. Very well done. Anne-Marie is going to show me proper bowling techniques still ahead. And we're going to find out, I'm going to pick, uh, pick the brains of these bowlers here on wardrobe because everyone has custom shoes and the appropriate pants. And I don't think I'm really following the rules, Tara. <laughs> I think you're following the rules in every way you need to, Joe. <laughs> well, maybe here on the lanes we'll follow the rules. All right, we'll catch yeah. up with you in a little bit at the okay. Chinook Bola Drum. Again, for and that's where Jill Bellin is. And Jill, I was um, uh, chatting with uh, Tara about this during the commercial break. We took our hockey game or hockey team to play bowling a couple weeks ago, and they put up the bumpers. Do you guys have the bumpers up? I don't think the bumpers are up, but maybe they should be if uh, Breakfast TV did a team building event here. And Chinook Bowldrome welcoming the crew here. I'm with some of the best youth bowlers in the city. We have two time zone champion and two time national medalist. Okay, ladies, let's see how it's done. Bowling all morning long here, getting ready for a championship this upcoming weekend. They're focused, they're in the moment. Oh, close to a strike. More bowling still ahead after the break. Stay with us. It absolutely is a great place to spend a Saturday afternoon, a Sunday afternoon, and there's a big championship taking place here, a youth championship, and I'm being joined by some of the best youth bowlers in the city. Now, I thought I was the only one wearing Velcro shoes. Not the case, because Melinda has Velcro on her shoes, too. But these are replaceable sliders. This is what the cool kids wear. Is that right, Emery? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Uh, very fashionable. Thank you very much. Now, Melinda's going to be our model for today, and you're going to take me through the appropriate form yeah. of throwing a ball. Because as we saw, I've had 
probably how many gutter balls? Maybe five. Five or six. Five or six gutter balls and hit no <laughs> pins here today. So I do need a lesson. And you're a two-time national medalist, a two-time reigning zone champion here. So I'm in good hands. Okay, go ahead, Melinda, to your starting position and take us through what Melinda is doing and what she's doing right. All right, she's going to line up on her mark to throw her first ball. Okay. With her lead forward slides and follows through. Focus. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, nearly a strike, but lots of support from your teammates here. So we're going to go for... What are we going to go for here? A spare. A spare. That's what oh, they call reset. it when you do it. When you, oh, she reset. That's okay. Let's try and get another strike. We'll go one more time. And you can throw another ball. So what do I need to know? What should I be watching for? Her follow through and her form as she comes approaches to the line. Okay. Now I know she's focused. We don't want to talk in the backswing. Oh. oh, right down the middle, but with lots of power here. Now, how often are you guys practicing to keep up on your game? Um, some people practice. I, For myself, I practice twice a week. Um, others practice three to four times a week. Some practice once a week. They just bowl one league in a week. And when up for an upcoming tournament like this, sometimes they come in. Um, over the weekend, uh, four weeks prior to the tournament, and they just come in every weekend practicing to make sure that they're ready for the tournaments. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, can we reset, and I'm going to throw, and you can tell me what I'm doing, right. right or wrong. Okay, here we go. Does this look good to you? Yep. Okay. Start with your left foot forward. Left foot forward. One, two, and follow through. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> right down the middle. Not a strike just yet, but I did hit the pins, which is great. And when you throw a good ball, this is what you do. You, you showboat. You high 10, everybody. High 10, yeah. I could get into this, you guys, I think. Yeah, I, I'm into it, definitely. How did I do? Pretty good. Pretty good. I like the support. I'm all about bowling, guys. Yeah, Jill, that was awesome. I oh, thought she was going to knock them all down. It was right down the pipe. Should we have a BT tournament? synchronized manner here, Taryn, with some of the best youth in the city. We're at Chinook Bowl Drum. Okay, on the count of three, everybody. One, two, three, bowl. And a lot of strikes and my gutter ball here. We're live on location at Chinook Bowl Drum. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. We'll be right back. ...of bowling. Jill, this morning is at the Chinook Bowl Drum. Jill, I bet you're improving by the frame. No, well... <laughs> I've thrown six balls and hit two pins. That's good. I, uh, Not, well, well, there's a lot of room for improvement here. Sure. And, you know, Ted, you were saying you did some team building. They had the bumpers up. Yeah, put those bumpers up. They work, <laughs> man. They saved me. Yeah, that would probably help me out quite a bit. But the bowlers here this morning don't need the bumpers because they are some of the best youth in the city here. And Ben is getting ready here. We have some professional coaches here, too. Eric is going to give us some pointers. You're warming up for the big challenge this upcoming weekend, the big tournament. Okay, Ben, go ahead, throw your ball. And Eric is going to give us some tips here. He's in position. Well, that looks good. Well, what we saw there is he was just going a little bit quick, so his arm came out a little bit farther, so the ball broke to the left. So he just got to slow his feet down and slow his whole uh, shot down, and he'll find the strike next time around. Slower down. I'm trying to speed things up. How did you feel about that, Ben? Not as good as I usually do. Right? Yeah. Okay, usually, no I usually hit it right beside the arrow, and I completely miss, so miss my target. No problem. There, there's lots of time before Saturday and Sunday, the big competition. Okay, next up, who do we have? We've got uh, Mark Polichuk. Okay, let's see it, Mark. What I love about this sport is that everyone's so supportive of each other. Absolutely. It's just one big family, and I think that's what we all love about the sport the most. Oh, and a strike. So that's pretty much perfect, right? Pretty much. What you saw there was just Mark's great working ball, and it's going to work for him every time he throws that shot. Okay, excellent. Well done. How do you feel about that? It's good. I like that shot. I like that shot, too. We like the strikes here. Okay, who do we have next? Ian, right? Yeah, now we got Ian. Okay, Ian, in position. On lane three. He's focused. He takes things very seriously. Oh, that looks good too. Oh, you know what? For one of our younger bowlers, that was one of a one of his little bit better shots. He was a little bit a uh, little bit quick, and again, he dropped that ball straight into the floor, so it didn't have a chance to get to the middle. But other than that, pretty good shot. Okay, great. Well done. How did you feel? Uh, wasn't one of my best shots. Not one of the best. No. You have been throwing strikes here. We can testify to that because we've been <laughs> seeing them all morning long. Maybe he caught. Hey, maybe you caught what I have, and you're only hitting two pins at a time. But that's okay. Lots of time still. Uh, how do you feel heading into the weekend? Well, I'm kind of nervous, but you do what you can. You can hope for the best. Yeah, hope for the best. Uh, great attitudes down here. We're going to meet the rest of the bowlers still ahead here live on location at the Chinook Bowl Drum, guys.
Ah, very cool. I think the girl's got a future. No, I think so too. <laughs> Um, today now the lights were off last time we checked in with you Jill can you even see what you're doing yes I can uh, but that isn't helping my game whatsoever <laughs> whether it's glow in the dark or we have full light here I've thrown seven gutter balls and hit three pins Aww. in the last two and a half hours but that's okay we're still having fun and I've recruited one of the coaches she's the tough one Maria right here She's the tough one. She's tough. According to everyone here, some of the best youth in the city are who are competing this upcoming win, uh, weekend in a challenge. Now, Maria, you've been watching me throw gutter balls all morning long. What are your tips for me? Basically, keep your shoulder up. Okay. Look at that center arrow. Never take your eyes off that spot until your ball is over it. Okay. Watch the center arrow. Shoulder up. Here we go. <laughs> Not anywhere near the center arrow. Let's see if some of our other bowlers can do better than this. And I, I imagine that they can. So who do we have first here? We're going to do some, some coaching tips. First one is Natalie, and she's bowled several years out of Airdrie. Yep. She's made the youth challenge quite a few times. Let's see if her shoulder is up. Just focused on the center arrow. Oh, that looks good. Excellent. Oh, and a strike. Yes, and a fist pump from Natalie. Very well done. She's obviously feeling very confident and good about that. And let's move to our next lane here. Excellent job, Natalie. And who do we have next here? This one is, she's Amanda, and she bowls out a toppler bowl here in Calgary, and she's been bowling probably as long as she's been alive. She's been at it many, many years. Many years. Focus. Nice one. Two strikes. Very well done. So Amanda feeling very good about that. Thumbs up from the coach. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> Excellent job here. I'm the only one throwing gutter balls around these parts here. And let's get the cords out of your way here. Camera cords. We don't want you to trip on that. And next up we have Megan. Megan. She's one of our younger bowlers. Last year was her first time and she did make the youth challenge and she bowls out of Paradise Lanes here in Calgary. Yeah. Oh, close to a strike but four pins down. That was excellent, Megan. How do you feel about that? Good. I wish the corners would fall here, though. I wish the corners would fall. Unlucky. We've got a lot of perfectionists in the group here. And last but not least, we have Robin. And she's from the Calgary Winter Club. Okay. Now it's bad sportsmanship to talk in the backswing. Is that right? Pretty well. We're keeping our voices down. Robin throwing a nice ball. And two pins down. Well done. What should Robin be working on? Keeping her shoulder up. Yep. and slowing down her approach. Okay, excellent. Same as me, Robin. That's okay. Well, not exactly the same. We have some very talented bowlers here this morning. I'm going to keep practicing, and you know what? I think I'm going to break, and we're going to get the bumpers up the next time around, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I'd go for the bumpers, too. It helps. And let's see how I do here with some of the best youth bowlers in the city. No pressure whatsoever. Okay, here we go. Shoulder up. Didn't even need a bumper. Yes, one pin down. Not bad, right? A smattering of applause. They're very polite here this morning. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. We'll be right back. Check <laughs> it at the Chinook Bowl of Drum Jill. Are the bumpers up yet? The bumpers were up. Now the bumpers are down because I've decided to give up on the sport altogether. But you know what? I could be an excellent fan supporter here this upcoming weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the Zone Championships for some of the best youth in the city. They will be qualifying to go to provincials. Mark is the reigning Zone champion. You won nationals at the age of 10. So how many years have you been bowling? Um, I'm going. This is my 15th season. Wow, excellent. And what can bowlers expect this upcoming weekend? How intense is uh, this weekend's pretty relaxed. Like, it's a fun environment because it's just qualifying. Yeah. But you're going to have to throw about 200 to make the team. Okay, what's your score? Uh, my average is about 240. 240. That's pretty good. I would imagine my average is about, well, what would you say? Probably somewhere between 50 and 100. 50 and 100. That's how many gutter balls I throw. But that's okay. Lots of room for improvement, right? Okay, so the qualifiers this upcoming weekend. What got you into the sport in the first place? What do you love about it? Oh, my parents were both bowlers uh, when they were younger. And they just, when I was like three years old, they decided they're going to put me into bowling. And I haven't quit since. Yeah, haven't quit since. Uh, we have Ben here who's doing a little showboating here. He was your roommate. True or false? I hear that Ben has bowling groupies. Yeah, uh, last year in Medicine Hat, I, in Medicine Hat last year, a couple of 13-year-old girls gave him uh, their numbers, and they've been uh, texting him ever since. That's awesome. Super fans for the bowlers here. Okay, I'm going to rally everybody in because you know what? Maybe I can bowl, but I definitely can cheer, and so can these guys. How many cheers do you guys have in your repertoire? Uh, dozens. Dozens. Yeah. Okay, this one is specific to our beautiful city. Okay, you guys, do you want to count it in? And the count of three. 
One, two, three. Yeah, lost some job, you guys. Thanks very much for bowling with us.